Hello, this video topic is off of my normal topics regarding metaphysics. However, since there's no other videos about this on the internet, especially on YouTube that I could find, uh, I thought it would be incredibly important to discuss this topic very quickly. Uh, honey is the only quad-purpose food on the face of this planet that uh, you should stockpile and use on a daily basis, although on a daily basis in a limited sense, of course. Uh, why is honey the most important thing to stockpile as either a survivalist food or in general purpose storage? Honey is the only food on the planet that does not go bad. Uh, ancient Egyptian honey extracted from the, uh, the tomb of King Tutankhamun is still edible. While it has crystallized, it could still be heated up and eaten. Uh, there's no other food out there on the face of this planet uh, that uh, has quad purpose to it. Why should you stockpile honey and not sugar? Let's go over that, okay? Uh, honey is uh, uh, antibacterial. If you buy raw honey that has not been heated to destroy the antibacterial properties in it, um, it uh, purifies water. Uh, the ancients and the Vikings and uh, all our ancestors used this for water purification. You know what mead is, or miod in the Russian. Uh, water purification. Uh, honey added to water will purify slightly rustic or uh, meaning uh, bacterial infested water if you don't have access to water filtration or if you're pulling water out of a creek when a SHTF, you know what that an acronym means, uh, situation happens if you don't have water filtration adding honey to uh, water uh, will kill uh, most of the bacteria in it. Um, the ancients used it to purify water. Uh, honey works better, and I've recently tried this due to a bicycling accident. I've tried it in the past. Honey works better than Neosporin and triple antibiotic ointment. In other words, for uh, administering uh, aid to cuts, scrapes, and wound treatments, honey works. Uh, of course, sugar does none of this. Actually, sugar would cause a festering of uh, the wound. Sugar goes bad naturally. Remember, honey does not go bad. Here's an attribute. Uh, as I already mentioned, honey never goes bad. Let's get on to the third uh uh, purpose that the honey serves. Uh, it cures fishes and meats. Actually, uh, refrigeration alone, if honey is added, of course, uh, you may not like the taste of uh, honey-drenched fish and meat, but we're talking about a survivalist situation here. We're talking about surviving, not actually enjoying your meal, but surviving. Honey cures meats. The ancient Egyptians and our ancestors used this for curing meat uh, with no access to refrigeration. Uh, honey uh, uh, soaked meats and fishes last 30 to 40 times longer than the sheer refrigeration alone. It's a fact that uh, very few people know. Uh, here's the fourth purpose. You move to a new area, local honey inoculates you against uh, allergies. Uh, you move to a different area, the first thing you should do is go out and buy a pound of uh, raw honey that has been unheated and uh, it will inoculate you very quickly against allergies. Sugar does none of this. Do not stockpile sugar. Uh, when we think about sugar, we think, well, honey is sugar, and, uh, you know, sugar it leads to fat people. Well, sugar is the quote-unquote antichrist of food. I mean, yeah, you think of honey, uh, most ignorant people uh, equate that with uh, fat in bread, red, uh, redneck scum. Uh, they're eating chocolate bars and uh, swilling on Mountain Dews. The healthiest people that I know, they're skinny and... Uh, and uh, and fit and you know can literally bend steel bars uh, eat tons of honey they don't eat sugar but they eat raw foods and they eat honey in copious quantities everybody should have at least 50 pounds per person of raw honey stockpiled on hand remember if you can freeze it you should freeze it uh, as long as the honey is uh, kept sealed up uh, honey is uh, hydrophilic which means it absorbs water as long as you keep it sealed up in some container as long as it's not a uh, metal container it uh, you know, it will not uh, absorb uh, the water from the uh, from the atmosphere. Uh, it will last forever, literally. Buy it in the comb form if possible. All experts agree that uh, storing it this way is the cheapest and easiest way. You need to contact the local beekeeper usually to get it in mass quantities uh, in comb form. Buy raw honey only. Do not buy Walmart honey. Why? Uh, pure honey only means it is actually 100% pure honey. That's point number one. Point number two is that Walmart honey or drugstore honey is heated and it destroys the antibacterial properties of the honey. The reason they do that is so they can pour it faster. The, obviously the, the hotter the honey is, the, uh, the faster it pours and so they can jar it quicker and of course time is money. Uh, drugstore honey is also cut with high fructose corn syrup, i.e. filth. 
you know, the crud you don't want to be eating, eating, i.e. sugar, high fructose corn syrup and sugar are basically the same thing. Most idiots out there in the world equate honey, well, honey is a sugar, and therefore sugar is bad for you, therefore we shouldn't eat honey. No, that is BS. Table sugar is sucrose. It's made of two molecules bonded together. When we eat table sugar, our stomach uses its own enzymes and works much, much harder to separate the molecules apart before we can use the sugar's energy. Honey is extremely different. The bees have added a special enzyme to the nectar that divides the sucrose into glucose and fructose, two simple sugars for our bodies which can absorb much faster and much quicker. Okay, one tablespoon, here's another reason to stockpile honey instead of sugar. Okay, sugar or sucrose contains 46 calories per tablespoon. Natural honey is more condensed in this factor, and one tablespoon has 64 calories. Okay, sugar obviously doesn't have vitamins and minerals in it or antibiotics in it. Honey has a much healthier glycemic index than does sugar. Honey and sugar are two totally different things. The common idiot out there does not know this fact, does not research this fact, does not know that. Antibacterial agent honey has uh, potential for treating a great deal of uh, ailments. Antibacterial properties of honey result of its low water activity causing osmosis and chelation, a slow release of hydrogen peroxide. Sugar does none of this. It's high acidity. Sugar does not do this. It's antibacterial activity of methyl, gly uh, uh, gly methyl glyoxyl. Sugar does not do this either. Okay, uh, like I said, buy raw honey only. Uh, you should have 50 pounds of it stockpiled. There's no other food out there that has more than two or three purposes. Uh, I can only think of one other food that actually has three purposes and barely. Honey has four. This is uh, some local uh, orange blossom honey in its raw form. and It is not heated at all. It is simply filtered. Uh, try to contact a local beekeeper wherever you're at. and I guarantee you, unless you live in the very far north, you can find a local beekeeper just through a simple Google uh, search and try to acquire at least 50 pounds of it. That's the only survivalist superfood that you should have, and you should certainly be stockpiling it over sugar. Is sugar cheaper? Yes. Sugar does not last forever. Honey is the only food that lasts liter literally forever. In other words, 10,000 years after you're dead, if you've stored honey properly, it will still be edible. Amazing. Most people don't know that fact. Remember, water purification. Honey does this. Sugar does not do this. Number two, cut scrapes and wounds treatments. Works literally better than antibiotic, triple antibiotic ointment or uh, neosporin. I've tried this on several occasions. That's point two. Point three, it cures meats and fishes. It only lasts 40 to 50 times longer than refrigeration alone. Without refrigeration alone, non-refrigeration non it will cure meats and fishes and keep them uh, for a long time before you can consume them. Uh, point five, like I said, you move to a local area, honey inoculates you against allergies. Point six is that uh, it's easier and much quicker to digest, the body to digest, than is sugar. And it's also more dense than sugar as far as its calorie count per tablespoon. Therefore, packing around one pound of honey is much better than packing around a pound of sugar. Like I said, sugar is going to go bad. It will rot and ferment and fester, and it does has none of these quote-unquote magical properties that honey has. Honey has the healthy glycemic index. Sugar does not. Uh, hanging out in health food stores and meeting some of these people, like I said, you know, honey is not sugar. Like I said, some of the healthiest, strongest people I know consume massive, copious quantities of sugar, and they're not fat little uh, stupid idiots chewing on chocolate bars. I mean, sugar is not honey. You know, the two are not cut from the same cloth. People say, well, it's sucrose and glucose, and, you know, it's sugar. You know, honey is sugar, and sugar is sugar. Just a different variety of sugar. Totally not true. If you want to stockpile something for the SHTF, you know what that anachronism means. Remember, the only food out there that does not go bad, purifies water, works better than neosporin or triple antibiotic ointment for treating, uh, treating cuts, scrapes, and wounds, has the attribute of never, ever, ever going bad, cures meats and fishes, and will inoculate you against local allergies, is raw honey. That's it. Think about worrying about something going bad. As long as you have it sealed tightly, it will not go bad. Period. So buy, uh, try to acquire as much raw honey as you can. Contact a local beekeeper. Um, 
and uh, do some internet researching. They're actually the only, quote-unquote, I consider, of all the hokum that's out there on the internet, the only thing that I've actually found that actually does work as, uh, as indicated, the, quote-unquote, magical treatment, is a, a combination of cinnamon and honey. Um, as far as getting you over flus, colds, and illnesses, com consumption, this is known by the ancient, the ancient Egyptians reported in copious numbers of uh, ancient manuscripts, the consumption of, uh, of uh, cinnamon, uh, stirred together with honey and the consumption of that when sick or uh, helping you overcome diabetes or uh, curing stomach uh, viruses or illnesses, uh, they do some internet research on uh, cinnamon and honey. It's uh, fascinating uh, effects. Um, anyway, go out and buy as much raw honey as you can. Uh, I know this isn't part of my normal video series, but since there's nothing out there regarding this on YouTube, much less the internet or in very small quantities, I uh, thought it extremely important to do this. Remember, honey is the only quad-purpose superfood, and for you survivalists out there, which I'm not really one, this is what you need to be stockpiling. You know, we're talking about rice and beans and nuts and, you know, salt and, you know, meals ready to eat. Well, all that crap goes bad, and none of it has more than two purposes. None of it. Honey has four purposes and two other attributes. One attribute being that it never goes bad and has denser calories and lower glycemic index and is quickerly and more quickly digested by the body than is sugar. Sugar is crap. Honey is what you need to stockpile, okay? Not sugar. Honey is not sugar. Okay? Remember that fact. Uh, try to buy as much raw honey as you can. Remember not to buy Walmart honey because it's cut with high fructose corn syrup and is overheated, which kills the uh, antibacterial, antimicrobial properties of raw honey. And uh, so find a local beekeeper and get raw honey that has only been spun out of the comb and filtered. Nothing more. It hasn't been heated. Simply filtered and jarred. Thank you very much.